Hey YouTube, here Twig here, bringing you all my Elemental Hero Wildheart Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for November 2020. This is the deck that I took the most interest in on focusing after the Elemental Hero Clayman deck, so decided to focus on a deck that focuses solely on Elemental Hero Wildheart and all the different fusions and the spell cards that work with it. Just like Clayman and Sparkman, this card only ever got one card in the actual TCG for support, but had plenty of them in the actual Yu-Gi-Oh anime that I would definitely one day like to see. Just to you know fully support these individual cards even if it's just for fun i think it's definitely worth it in the long run but wild heart is also the first of the elemental hero monsters i'll be covering that is an effect monster as well and not a normal monster so it's definitely a different take on the deck and also the fact that wild heart requires different monsters that don't really focus mostly on the original heroes all together. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for our go-to boss monster in the deck, we're running three Elemental Hero Wild Heart. A very straightforward effect. This card is unaffected by the effects of trap cards. So with it, you're protected from a good amount of cards your opponent may try. If you're going up uh, against a good variety, infinite and permanence, uh, evenly matched, you name it, all these cards will not work on Wild Heart. Well, I don't know why you would want to impermanence Wild Heart in the first place, but the cards like evenly match meaning you can keep wild heart on the field and choose another target for cards like that make it all the better for sure but just being able to be unaffected by all these different traps takes away a little uh, less worry when going up against your opponent and being able to attack with wild heart uh, you know more confidently without fear of your opponent having to you know destroy this card with a bunch of other cards and that also works in our favor with some other cards we're running in the main deck for the backup monsters, the only of the original heroes that Jaden ran that I am running in this version of the deck is Elemental Hero Avion. Wildheart does have a wide variety of fusions, but like I said, the focus on those fusions are not really focused with the original monster. I think it's funny that Clayman didn't have any fusion that revolved around Avion aside from Electrum, while Wildheart only has uh, Avion. We didn't really see anything with Sparkman, Burstinatrix, Clayman, you name it, but would have been awesome to have seen those forms for sure. But we have a very awesome fusion with Avion and Wild Heart, so we're running two copies of this card in the deck as well, along with two copies of Elemental Hero Blade Edge. Now this is definitely probably the most powerful of uh, Wild Edge's uh, you know, out there with the option to go into that monster with Blade Edge and Wild Heart. Like I said, probably the strongest one we have in our arsenal. So running to Blade Edge, even if you just summon Blade Edge out on his own, you have a powerhouse where if it attacks a defense monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. So I like to run to this copy as well, since we are running to Wild Edge in the extra deck. Gives us more and more options for fusion summoning this card out onto the field with uh, Wild Heart. And then lastly, for the main fusion uh, requirements, I'm also running one Elemental Hero Necro Shade with this one. Uh, once while this card is in the graveyard, you can normal summon one level five or higher Elemental Hero monster from your hand without tribute. So just much easier to summon out Blade Edge onto the field, a combination that we use plenty enough by Jaden in the anime. So if you get Necro Shade set up in the uh, graveyard with even just fusion summoning it with uh, Wild Heart, you have the option to then normal summon Blade Edge from your hand. But I'm just running the one I only run one of the fusion between Wild Heart and this card in the extra deck. It's not the best of the fusions compared to Avion and Blade Edge, but still like to have the option available for us in the deck. And then going off of the uh, staple heroes to run still with the deck, I run three Elemental Hero Stratos. Search Power, Spell and Trap Destruction, been over this with all the other hero decks, so I definitely like to run three of it for that option available to us in the deck. I adjusted some numbers just based on the numbers of the Fusion Material heroes I was running in the deck. So I'm running two Elemental Hero Honest Neos for the power boost, especially when you attack with Wild Heart. No fear of traps, so you can swing with this card at 4,000 power and not have to worry about your opponent activating anything against you. Still a great option, and it's searchable with some other cards in the deck also. And the same goes with Elemental Hero Solid Soldier, running two of this card. The Link Power option is very, very handy in this deck, but once again, I uh, just decided to go for more of the actual monster route option than the staple option. It still comes in handy for sure, but just like having that fusion option available to us. And that's what I really do like with these deck profiles with all the different individual heroes. It allows for more and more playtesting to see what I find best for these different builds. 
And then lastly, for the monsters, still running the three King of the Swamps, just great consistency for searching out polymerization and also being able to substitute for any of the other hero requirements in the deck, especially when you open up your Elemental Hero Wild Heart and you just need one of those fusion options, opening up your entire arsenal of extra deck monsters to go into. And that is it for the monsters. We'll now move on to the spells. I'm running two Cyclone Boomerang. I know I maxed out the Spark Blaster and the Clay Charge with the other deck profiles, but with Cyclone Boomerang, you, this one is more uh, situational for the uh, card effects. And with this one, you equip only two Elemental Hero Wild Heart. It gains 500 attack. And when the equipped monster is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, destroy all spell traps on the field and inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each spell and trap destroyed by uh, this effect so with this one if you have a good amount of cards set up on the field you can deal some pretty heavy damage to your opponent but like i said the fact that it has to be destroyed by a card effect is that much more difficult it can you know if your opponent does target your wild heart for a card effect you have that plus available to you but once again i mostly like this card for the 500 attack point boost with wild heart it is a big plus for sure and there are some plays we can try in this deck to destroy wild heart on the field but that's why i'm only running two if you run three of this it's just a you know a power 500 card and the actual way you'll resolve this rarely comes up if it was a destroyed by battle effect i would say it's a lot more useful in the deck and could have deserved the three of spot but since it's only by card effect we'll have to resort to just the two in the deck to use I also run the three E emergency call, being able to search out Honest Neos and any of the fusion requirements we need for our main go-to boss monster in the deck. Definitely a three of staple for sure. And I also run the three polymerization. Now this, once again, like the Clayman build, you can go off of the uh, fusion if you wanted to run one dark fusion by taking out polymerization because Wild Heart does have one evil hero fusion with Avion that you can go into. I believe it's called Wild Cyclone. So that's a preferred option if you do want to end up running that card in this deck to take out one polymerization because we do have the uh, King of the Swamp fusion option available as well. But player preference is what that comes down to at the end of the day also. And I run the two Miracle Fusion just for the uh, Banish option. You can go into plenty of different heroes. You can go into your Wild Edge, fusing the two together, and then having the option for a second one from the extra deck makes it that much more uh, better. Just two of this though, you have to have that graveyard set up. And there are some cards I prefer to recycle in this deck to reuse, including just normal summoning Wild Heart after using it for a fusion to have no fear of trap cards against your opponent. And I also run two Fusion Recycling Plant. I definitely do like the Polymerization search for this, being able to discard one card to add one Polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. The discard for the graveyard sets up for Miracle Fusion as well, giving you the Polymerization search and the uh, Recycle Power if you end up not using Miracle Fusion to add the Fusion Summon Monster uh, material that you added from your graveyard back to your hand as well. And then for some of the one-ofs that I run for the spells, I'm running the one Monster Reborn, still great to Special Summon Wild Heart, back from the graveyard to use on the field, searching out with reinforcements of the army for a good amount of the Elemental Hero Monsters we run this deck as well. And lastly, I run uh, for the Hero Support one-ofs, one, a Hero Lives, more Special Summoning options with this card by paying half your life points. But for some of the additional uh, one-of text that I'm running, I run the one Foolish Burial. This is to send our elemental hero necro shade to the graveyard while it's in the graveyard it's just an easier way to summon out a uh, blade edge from our hand onto the field and i run the one dark hole now the trap cards might be unaffected by for wild heart but you can use dark hole when you equip your cyclone boomerang to destroy this card while it's equipped with the cyclone boomerang and then destroy all the other spell and traps on the field very very useful it'll clear your opponent's back row while also clearing out their monsters for sure but i'll go over that play as well at the end of the video. And for the rest of the spells, I run two Mask Change. I am a big fan of the Mask Change play in this deck. I just felt the deck needs a little more consistency for the Earth and Wind attribute monsters we run. So Mask Change is a great offensive power. You can attack in with your Wild Heart and then go in for the Mask Change play, if wish, uh, you know, for you to do. And then giving you the option with all the other monsters in the deck as well, including Solid Soldier for its additional special summon plays and Stratos also. 
And to finish off the main deck, the only trap I am running in the deck is Torrential Tribute. This is just another great way to clear out your opponent's monsters with no fear for your one and only boss monster in the deck being Elemental Hero Wildheart. You can keep this card on the field, activate Torrential Tribute, and it'll be the last monster standing. Even if you have the Cyclone Boomerang equipped onto it, it will not destroy uh, Wild Hearts. You'll be able to keep this 2,000 attack point monster on the field while clearing out a good amount of your opponent's cards, unless obviously they negate the Torrential Tribute, but then you have the other copies to resolve also. And being able to set this card on the field with other cards like Mass Change make it that much more better also. And that is it for the main deck. We'll now move on to the extra deck. For the Wild Heart Fusions, I'm running two Elemental Hero Wild Edge. You need a Wild Heart and Blade Edge to make this card. It must be Fusion Summon. cannot be Special Summon by other ways. This card can attack every monster your opponent controls and for each attack on that monster per battle phase. So being able to swing into a good amount of different monsters in your opponent's field combined with Elemental Hero Honest Neos makes it that much more of a powerhouse because with Honest Neos, you discard this card, target a hero monster. It gains one uh, for the 2500 attack until the end of this turn meaning your wild edge can attack every monster and if they're in attack position deal that massive damage to your opponent as well for more spell and trap destruction i run two elemental hero wild wingman with this one it must be fusion summon and cannot be special summoned by other ways you can discard one card to target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy that card a great graveyard setup for miracle fusion uh relies on this card also which i'll go over at the end of the video but great for that setup all together i also run the one elemental hero necroid shaman with this one, it must be Fusion Summon. It cannot be Special Summon by other ways. When this card is Special Summon, you target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it, then Special Summon one monster from your opponent's graveyard to their side of the field. So a great way to get around some other pesky monsters your opponent may have on the field, using this card as an option just to destroy those monsters on the field altogether. But like I said, it's a one of. If you want to try and mix around some of the other uh, monsters, you can try reducing your number of Avion for additional Elemental Hero Necroche, but that is completely player preference as well, depending on what you want to do. They both have the same attack power. Wild Wingman is just more of a defensive card to rely on, but the numbers still, like I said, come down to player preference. I was fine with just the one because opening up the multiples of Necroshade in my hand, if it's a high level monster, just like, um, you know, Blade Edge, it's much more difficult to normal summon monsters out of the field. For some of the other generics, I run the one Elemental Hero, Great Tornado. This can be Gaia as well, since uh, Wild Heart is an Earth monster. Also, one Elemental Hero, Sunrise, one Vision Hero, Adoration, and one Vision Hero, Trinity. For the Masked Hero monsters, I run the one Diane and the one uh, Hero Blast. These are both the attributes I see on the field the most with Wind and Earth, Stratos, and Wild Heart. So having this option for these mass Change monsters come in handy the most, and the fact that Blade Edge is also an earth monster if you need to mass change with this card it's why i prefer diane to be the target most of the time but also running the two mass change you have both these targets available to go into and for the link monsters i run the one wonder driver with the mass change in the deck it's that much more handy infernal divisor to set up more fusion plays searching out individually named monsters one dread decimator and i like the one cross sheep i was testing it and prefer it to the assault with this build for the additional benefits for the fusion monsters that we summon out onto the field and as for the go-to play as i spoke of before when you have the uh, cyclone boomerang on the field and you have your elemental hero wild heart as well you can equip it onto your wild heart and it has to be destroyed by a card effect so you'll be able to activate the dark hole from your hand destroying the wild heart with the cyclone boomerang and if you have additional spells like your fusion recycling plant set up on the field you can destroy these cards and all of your opponent's spell traps along with destroying their uh, monsters that were already on the field with your dark hole and it also inflict damage to your opponent as well with that play if you go for the fusion play involving your elemental hero wild heart and also your elemental hero avion to go into the play so this is your setup here having these cards in your hand with the preferred play being if you also go uh, second but is possible if you go first as well if you have elemental hero blade edge and also miracle fusion in your hand the play will go like this you will activate your polymerization 
and fuse the two together to summon out your elemental hero, Wild Wingman. Just remember with the Spell and Trap uh, Destruction Effect, it might be best if you go second. You'll get the additional card in your hand to draw, which can be any card for that spot. But also you'll need that target to destroy your opponent's Spell and Traps. And with this card, you can discard one card to target one Spell or Trap on the field and destroy that target. So you will discard the Blade Edge from your hand, destroying the Spell or Trap on the field. And also have the setup now for your Miracle Fusion to banish your Blade Edge and your Wild Heart to get out a second fusion monster out on the field. And with Master Rule 5, no fear of putting them in the extra monster zone. They can both go into the main monster zone. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. I definitely feel some great nostalgia uh, building all these, you know, individual hero decks. I definitely am having fun making them as well, but always would like to see what you want to see next for uh, the Elemental Hero decks. I definitely do uh, take your opinion into consideration on what I should go for next. I built the ones I was having the most fun with. A big one for sure will be Bubble Man next, just because it has the most spells uh, to rely on. But until then, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and Kira Twig out.